Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm hopping on really quickly because I know you guys want to see those jumpsuit and romper patterns that I found and I know that I'm not going to have time to go through and like show you everyone on camera. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a little intro now and then I'm going to do a voiceover over all of those jumpsuit patterns because let's be honest, you want the patterns not to listen to me talking all the time. <laughs> so here it comes, all of the jumpsuit, romper and overalls ish, that was harder, patterns that I have found for you all free, all PDF downloads. Go get them and get sewing. Bye. Okay, here we go. So we're starting off with a sleeveless jumpsuit from Creative Bug. It includes a PDF download as well as all the instructions to create it. And it's awesome for a beginner because you don't have any sort of sleeves or closures or buttonholes, nothing at all. Really, really easy to follow and really flattering on everybody. So this is a brand new website to me. It's called Initiative Handarbeit, which means handmade initiative in German. And all of these are free patterns and they are so cool. Look at this really great wrap jumpsuit. Now I know they've done it in black and white and made it really graphic, but just try to imagine it also in one color. And as you can see, this is how it translates automatically in Chrome, um, really easy to follow. There's a downloadable pattern that is printable. Now that only comes in two sizes, but it's pretty roomy I think that you're gonna have an easy time adjusting it here's another one same website how cute is this I absolutely love the length I love the shirt detail it looks to me like it's maybe in a slightly heavier cotton again two different sizes um, fully downloadable pattern as well as all of the instructions and like I said when you just open it in Chrome it will automatically ask you if you want to translate and just say yes and there you go this one here is so fun and a little crazy for you guys out there who are looking for something a little different. I think this qualifies. This is in a knit and it's got this really interesting asymmetrical thing going on. I gotta admit, not exactly my bag, but if, um, if you're looking for something different, I think I found you something different. They call it the kimono overall. And uh, same as always, you can just click in there with Chrome and get all of the materials, all of the downloads. I think this one is actually more of, of a construct yourself in terms of the pattern but still pretty awesome I love this one how pretty is this I think I actually if I'm gonna make any of them in this section I think this is the one I would make um, I just think it's so pretty and flowy I think it's a viscose that they used um, it's got just really on point to what is in fashion right now they call it the flowers jumpsuit and again it comes in two different sizes a 36 38 and a 40 42 and fully downloadable and printable at your computer this one is also really cute. I could see this either in a jersey or maybe like a really soft linen. Again, it's a strapless version. It's got some cute pockets. Um, yeah, just adorable. This one here, I wish I could find this more of, from this website and I could only find this one, but it's this really adorable jumpsuit. It's a Portuguese company or maybe Brazilian, I don't know, but the language is Portuguese. And the neat thing is that it prints out in only, I think it's 10 pages. Let me see if I go up here eight pages so you do have to trace it but for those of you who don't like printing off big pdfs here is a whole jumpsuit in eight pages and then it goes through and it gives you really detailed instructions now it's in Portuguese, but if you love to sew, I think you can manage. Okay, this one's a bit cheeky. Is it really a jumpsuit? No, probably not, but how cute are these? One piece fleece pajamas for adults, just a straight download, 52 page PDF that I'm linking you up to. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I think this could be like the comfiest, coziest jumpsuit around. I think we all have great British sewing bee fever right now and this free pattern from Love Sewing Magazine, I think that came out last year from the last season and this compared to some of the other things on Love Sewing where you're just getting the template but no instructions, this comes both with the, the pattern as well as the instructions and it's I've looked at it, it's great, it's a full PDF download, lots of really great instructions. If you're a newbie this would be a great one and it's a knit jumpsuit which is really really sweet. There are lots of great free patterns on Blueprint formerly Craftsy, and I found this cute long romper pattern. There's also a short version, clearly, just cutting it off, but I love that there's two layers up top. Sometimes in the summer, I prefer not to wear a full bra, and so if I have two layers and then just like a light bra underneath, I feel like I can get away with
with it more and it's a little bit lighter, a little bit um, less hot and stuffy. So I think this is a really cute option. I couldn't find what sizes this came in, but generally on Blueprint things come in, in, in pretty good size ranges. So you might wanna have a look at this one and also on the ladies blog, same thing. This is a French fabric store called Tissu Prise and they have a few patterns, mostly their kids' patterns, but they have this really wild jumpsuit. Uh, they say it's for New Year's Eve and it's in a, like a black stretch shiny material. Again, I personally would look at this in another fabric. It could be great in a jersey, um, maybe with not quite such a low back, but again, you can not only get the instructions and the download, but there is a video so that you can see exactly what they're, what they're doing. Um, but I do think that this is awfully flattering and yeah, I would be, I'd be tempted to give it a shot in the right fabric, probably not in shiny black fabric. <laughs> Here's another French company. This is a French magazine called Avantage and they do some DIYs and patterns. And this is a really cute jumpsuit. They called it a, they call it a combinaison, cool et chic. And who doesn't want to be cool et chic, I ask you. This one's adorable. This is a romper from Polka Dot Chair. And again, I could see this in so many different fabrics and kind of a dress up, dress down sort of thing. I love the low scoop back, the flowy legs. Um, I think it'd be a really easy quick sew and you could do it for you know a lot of different fabrics. Again, from Simply Sewing, this is so cute. This is another one that is a pattern from the Great British Sewing Bee and it's both a little cami top, but then they also lengthen it into um, a really great jumpsuit with very narrow legs and I absolutely love it. So, so cute. Next from YouTube, we have Zoe DIY. She has some super cute patterns that she puts on her website and then does all of the tutorials on her YouTube channel. So go over there and check out the YouTube channel. Um, but really, really great step, step-by-step, step, really clear and very, very cute patterns. And she does have a fairly large size range. I think something like double extra small to double extra large. So lots of options. Again, I love the tie waist on this, the side pockets and the flowy legs. I I think this would be really, really flattering on most people and also very forgiving if you're a new sewist and a little bit nervous about, you know, doing your first pants or stuff like that, this would be a really great option. On to Peppermint Magazine. You guys know they have such great stuff. They have two offerings. This is the play suit and I love this. So, so cute. I think you could cinch it in at the waist with a little belt or maybe a little bit of elastic at the back. Simple pockets and then a tie at the shoulders. Now they have a good size range. I can't tell you off the top of my head uh, what those sizes A to J um, correspond to in terms of sizing, but head on over there and uh, download it and have a look, see if it'll work for you. The other option is this really cute and very, very popular jumpsuit. Chances are if you know one free jumpsuit pattern, this is the one. People have been making it all over. Really, really simple construction, just a zipper up the back and a couple of darts on the front. And you know, all one piece, no waistline, which I thought was really interesting. And then you just use a belt to, you know, adjust it to however, you know, whatever you're feeling like that day. If you're feeling a little more slouchy, maybe you leave the belt off. If you want to define the waist a little bit, you can put it on, but just so cute. You guys know I love the fabricstore.com and this time of year linen is so perfect and this store sells linen. So this is a pull on jumpsuit. I also love this. This is another one that I'm really thinking about because I have some great linen that I want to use. I love the crossover bodice. It looks like it stays closed nicely. And I also love the elastic waist because it's just easy. I don't have to worry about having a big dinner. It's all there and comfy. And this has a full pattern. So that isn't always the case with this company, but in this case, this is a full PDF pattern uh, and yeah it's called the Celine jumpsuit and you just have to have a login with them and you can go on and download the patterns. Here is the linen boxy romper tutorial and this tutorial I believe uses two of their other patterns to create this uh, romper and I thought that this is very cool it's it, with the side buttons I thought was really um, original not something you see very often I liked the little bit of gathers um, at the shorts portion and it again they give you really great instructions to step by step make this really cute little romper. I also love those thick straps. 
Okay, this next one is also another linen romper. It's got a button down front. I know for sure this one does not have a full pattern. It's more of a tutorial of how to make it, but it's a very simple construction. I think it'd probably be pretty easy to do. And again, their instructions are really, really clear. So if we pan down here, I'm gonna show you. One second, there we go. So you can see how they're showing you how to put it together, how to put the measurements in, at what angles. It'd be fun to do that maybe sometime. A similar thing here with these linen overalls. Overalls were something I had a hard time finding a full pattern on. It seems that it's more popular just to do a tutorial. Again, something that's very big and forgiving, so I think that's probably why. It's not really something that you need um, a, a specific pattern for. You can get away without it. So again, we're gonna go down and they're gonna show you exactly how to draw it out. I think this one would be even easier because it seems to be mostly rectangles. <laughs> pretty simple, pretty straightforward if you're going to be drawing crafting it and then they do give you really great instructions of exactly how to go through and do that. Now they do have one um, actual pattern. This is the Chloe linen jumpsuit. Unfortunately I couldn't make these photos any bigger but they have a very cute um, elbow length sleeve with a tie. It's got a crop length, very retro. It's got a bit of a retro feel to it. And again, this is downloadable. You need to have Adobe Reader and you can download it in a whole bunch of different sizes. So if you want something a little more structured, this would be great. Some of you might be familiar with O oh Mother Mind DIY. She is a Spanish sewist who does a lot of um, patterns and YouTube videos, both women's as well as children's, beautiful little girl clothes, um, little baby dresses and things. But she also has some great women's stuff and here I thought was a really, really great jumper. This is, only comes in one size, but so cute. If you are familiar with the designer of Untitled Thoughts, um, this is an early version of her olive romper that's now available on her website. And I, I can't remember how much it is on the website. It's slightly reworked. This was on the Hook Nook Life last year, I think, or maybe a couple years ago. And um, I thought this was also a really sweet pattern. Um, I think it's something that, again, is quite easy and, and very accessible for every level of sewist. And um, kind of neat to see an early version of a pattern that has then been refined by the designer. And I think she's actually working on refining it again. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Merrick's Art is a great website. I love her stuff. Her stuff is all um, instructional, so it's not patterns. Again, this is an overalls, which I had a hard time finding actual patterns for, but I thought this was a really great description. She does a really good job of helping you construct clothes from clothes you already have in terms of using them for patterns. And I love her infographics, the way she does the design for you to see exactly what you're doing. Um, yeah, I thought this was really, really cute. If I were gonna try and construct or um, do some overalls from an instructional video, I think this would be it. These are also very cool. Um, this is a website called The Essentials Club and they do have some patterns as well as some great tutorials and I love, you can see here that you can kind of use your arrow to go through and see really in-depth pictures of each step and I absolutely love that. I thought that was a really clever idea. It goes all the way through the whole thing. This is a very sort of open, unstructured, I feel like I should be like, I don't know, walking in Bali or something like that in these overalls. Um, they have a very young vibe to me and uh, very, very very cute, so I thought you guys might like to see that. And now on to mood. I love mood. And of course, jumpsuits are so trendy and mood is always on trend. So this is the first jumpsuit offering. I think it's called the Karina, if, that, if that's right. One shoulder, it has a ruffle. They have great instructions. They have lots and lots of sizes. Um, it's just a really great source for really on-trend patterns. Next is the Bergenia jumpsuit. This is made out of stretch velvet. How luxurious is that? Um, quite daring, and uh, but also I think very accessible and something that lots and lots of people could make. Really cute. This Perilla jumpsuit is brand new. It's only been out a couple of days. And again, very on trend. I'm seeing a lot of of jumpsuits with sort of a shirt detail at the top. I love the length. The color is on point. I actually have this exact color in, a, in another fabric that might might do for this. Um, again, their, their instructions are always really, really clear. And if you pan down to the bottom, here's a little tip, they usually add more detailed photos at the bottom. Only a few at the top, but at the bottom there tend to be more details. The poplar overalls. Okay, so this is the only overall pattern that I found. 
I, I don't know if I would call them overalls myself. <laughs> to me, they don't really look like overalls, um, but what a super cool pattern. I love, look at this back detail. How cool is that with the zipper and the little cutout there? It's sort of, you know, wanting to be two pieces, but not quite. And I also like the deep V that's sort of filled in on the front. These are really, really cool, love. The cherry jumpsuit. This is the our very last one. How retro, a little 70s. This one actually does up at the back, which I thought was really interesting because usually we have these things doing up the front, but nope, it's at the back, just the zipper all the way down. Great range of sizes. And again, um, lots and lots of construction videos so you can see exactly what is going on. Okay guys, as we finish looking at this jumpsuit, this is our last one. That's 30, 30 jumpsuit romper overall patterns for free, downloadable from the internet um, by PDF. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you will get sewing. Tag me in whatever you make. I'd love to see it and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.